Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you on 31 Jan, last trading day of January. It's a Friday. Um, big rebound in stocks yesterday caught a lot of us by surprise. We did all right because we were trading it for an average uh, down in the 50s. So we traded a few times, 50, 65, 50, 65. And then sort of a circular motion down here. And then on this move up, um, we didn't have the full position on, but then we just cut at 90 last night. One of those cuts that may be regrettable, we probably should be selling this. Um, the plan is that 33.11 is the cut. We don't think this is going to get above 33.06. Uh, but it was one of those moves that just kind of was a bit of a heartbreaker. Uh, unexplained. So let's just see. We're open-minded today. Let's just see. Um, my colleagues in the U.S., I think his Twitter post was, Why the hell do we ever, anyone ever sell stocks? Um... I get where he's saying on that, but um, don't don't fully agree with that uh, comment. That you just got to look both ways in every market, uh, and right now in stocks, uh, everything that I know points to lower stocks. We have valuation problems. We have problems in society. We have problems with government. Um, where we don't have problems are there are three companies, three or four companies that are doing great. Apple's obviously doing great. Microsoft's doing great. Amazon's doing great. Google is doing great. Um, can four companies carry an entire index? Perhaps. They certainly have, I think, for this past year. Um, Let's just see how we go. 33.11 is my sort of bingo number. Above 33.11, I think we're going to go for new highs. Here we are at 87. We are square again. Uh, we're going to have to just rejig this, take a breath, and see how we go. What else is out there other than the stock market? Dollar-yen, quiet range, 87.13. Now we're in the middle of nowhere. If we go risk on today, uh, 109.25, there'll be stops up here and there'll be a little bit of a claw back towards 109.50. That's a turn bar yesterday, long tail after quite a few down days. Um, so this does look like it's pointing a bit north. So you have the bullish stock bar yesterday, bullish dollar yen bar. What does euro yen tell us? Not too much. Um, but the same point on the chart is above 44, there'll be uh, risk on buyers. So this is kind of the same trade as dollar yen above 25. Aussie, we're banging on 10 year lows here. Can't get out of its way, this Aussie. There's going to be lots of, I'm going to pull the monthlies up. I don't often do that, but just so everyone can see this. The lows in 08 were um, 60 but it's been 10 years since we've been down to um, 6670 which was the low last year uh, this is a very important point in Aussie um, this is a, probably an old-fashioned break trade through 6670 so many red bars but you, we all know the problems in Oz we all know the fires we all know their proximity to China uh, and this virus. Um, so we'll have to just see 6713. Um, we're hoping this doesn't trade today on month end. It's typically a uh, terrible time to jump on a trend when it's flow driven day. So we're just watching this for now. But 6670, 10 year lows in Aussie. Dollars are doesn't think everything is okay. 1480. They're crushing the rand. Uh, through 72 yesterday, paid. Some of my colleagues are trading that. 
1485 now is one, two, three, four highs. Let's expect a bit of consolidation here to, to the right, so maybe between 65 and 85. But uh, dollar rand looks like it still wants higher. Dollar Canada, nothing going on there. Let's check check crude. Crude got to our target yesterday, 52.10, but then bounced. So we sold those 53.97s, 54.22s down to, to make a new low at 52.10, but now we've bounced. We're still sellers of crude, but now we just want to wait. These highs at 54.36 could easily get broken. So you're basically trying to sell crude at 55 um, and wait for this um, eventual break at 50, 50 bucks, which we think is going to happen. OPEC was squawking a bit about uh, meetings and earlier, you know, moving the meetings times up yesterday, but you know, we don't have tons of faith in in, uh, in OPEC. Gold didn't do much. We're sitting here hanging around the highs. Um, you know, we got up to uh, 85 yesterday. This is cash gold. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking at cash gold, but it's kind of the same idea. We trade GCI. Here's the futures, gold, gold futures. Same idea. Uh, got up to 90 yesterday. Now we're back 78. Sideways here. You see where we are today. Everyone just needs to decide. Is this risk off uh, with the virus over? And now we're going to charge higher. Or is this getting worse? Dollar CNH says it's kind of okay, but I can tell you that um, the stock markets in China didn't really like it, right? Uh, you know, the U.S. markets were fine, but you know, the Nikkei finished flat, Hang Seng uh, finished down 1.2. China a 50 finished down a half percent wild days though right a lot of them gapped up at the open uh, and either finished where they opened so Nikkei finished flat Hang Seng finished down 1.2 and China down a half most of them gapped opened at the open uh, but then either finished flat or negative so in Asia, they don't really seem to think it's over or they don't really understand or know what's going on. Fixed income also doesn't really know. Fixed income is also just telling us there is trouble. Boons uh, lingering up here at the highs. Tens. Okay, we've made a new daily low, but just look at we, where we are. Um, 131 down at 127 the yield is around 190 up here the yield is I don't know 160 uh, so 158 fixed income is telling us there's trouble common sense is telling us there's trouble um, Bitcoin is telling us there's trouble Asian stock markets telling us there's trouble. The only thing that's telling us there is no trouble is uh, U.S. equities. So somebody has to be wrong here. Either everyone else is wrong and U.S. equities are correct, which could could be true, or else um, everyone else is correct and U.S. equities uh, will turn. Here's the thing about a market when it turns after a strong trend. Usually both sides get fucked, right? Bears get fucked, bulls get fucked in this wild um, tug of war where you have fierce moves down and you have fierce stop outs on the move up. Fierce moves down, fierce stop ups on the move up. So far, this is what's happening here. If you look at the last four bars, excluding uh, Wednesday, you have Monday fierce down, Tuesday fierce up, Wednesday was quiet, fierce up. Um, I don't know, I'm talking myself into short stocks again today. 3311 is the bingo number. Let's see how we go. 
as far as the calendar is concerned, um, what do we got here? In Europe, German retail sales, French inflation, nobody cares. Um, Spanish GDP, Italian GDP, European GDP. So we got the GDP numbers out in Europe, which are which are sort of backward looking. This will be GDP from from December. Um, and then we have PPI and PCI, which is important out of the US. So we've got sort of wage inflation numbers, Chicago PMI and Michigan and PPI out of Canada. So a relatively busy calendar today. Unemployment out of Brazil, trade out of South Africa. Pretty busy calendar today. Have a look at that. Um, and just make your decision what you're going to do um, with risk. If you're risk on, dollar yen through the highs, euro yen through the highs, looks okay. If you're risk off, go ahead, hold your nose, uh, sell some spoos. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you on Monday.